Right, 2E0XVX. Um, I'm just going to explain to you guys how you get the screen to work on a Raspberry Pi. First of all, I'm going to open up my VNC viewer and I'm going to log into my MMDVM screen. There we go. This is the uh, screen working in the back of the uh, MMDVM system. So what you need to do is you need to open up another one of these LX terminals. So I'm going to go down to the bottom corner and open up another LX terminal. It's up the top there. I'll move it so you can get at it a bit better. Right, just give me a second. Just my HF uh, radio is uh, just got some noise on it. Right, up on here, on here, I'm going to type sudo space R A S P I hyphen C O N F I G sudo raspy config and it will open up this LX terminal. Let me just zoom in on that. Let's move this down so you can see it. Right, you need to go down to interface options number five. So you need to go down to interface options. Then you need to go to number P6, serial port. Now what you've got to do with that is you've got to disable, you've got to go, I'm not going to go in and mess around with mine uh, because it can make some major problems with it, but you need to go into serial and you need to disable and disable on both options. It will say, do you want to disable, uh, disable. So you need to disable both options, then go down select and, um, and then save it. Uh, so what you need it you'll go back and you'll go down to finish and then it will do a reboot when it's done a reboot the screen will work you must you must go and disable the serial port before you can do anything guys uh this short video on how to get the next gen screen to work with a raspberry pi it won't just work out of the box you need to go in to uh, the raspberry config file and disable the next in screen seven threes